It's Mary on the run. It's Mary. so excited to be here. Thank but, you for having me. <laughs> I'm so happy to, that you're here. So, so introduce yourself to our audience. I'm Lily McCann. I graduated obviously with the inaugural class of Trinity. Um, I'm now a senior at St. Joseph's University living in Philadelphia and I am a musical theater major with a minor in communications. Lily was one of our uh, first performers, the Queen's Court Company. That first class, I think, Lily, what play did you have the lead in or one of the leads? Freshman year, I was Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, which yes. was a crazy experience. Miss Whalen actually gave me when I graduated like a hard drive of all of the old shows so I can like go back and watch them. And I did pretty recently like studying for this. And it was hysterical. Like it was so funny to watch us evolve from mm -hmm. freshmen to seniors. Um, and then I was Kim in Bye Bye Birdie sophomore year. Um, I'm just doing the musicals because the plays are. That's fine. That's that's good. Um, and junior year, I was one of the lead soloists for Godspell. Mm -hmm. And then senior year, I was Maisie in Susical. Lily was definitely with a group of peers from that class because there was a strong group of young women, some who you've already met, like uh, Grace Malloy and Sarah Frankel, who um, really pushed us. And I like to say that it's that first class that made us have such a robust, rich theater program. So every year now, and, and we've had two performances. And Lily, I don't know if you were able to watch Clue. We actually went virtual for our- Yeah, I, I did actually get the chance to watch it. I thought it was great. You guys have done a really good job with keeping things a little bit more normalized mm -hmm. and giving mm -hmm. girls great opportunities in like such a hard time. This year we're going to do an outdoor stage. So I think it's going to be late enough in May that you'll be able to come back. I would, I would love that. I would kill to see that. We're doing an outdoor performance of Jesus Christ Superstar. They're literally performing on top of a parking garage. Well, and, and, and like Trinity Hall, they're being very creative as to where to uh, perform. Tell us um, a little bit about what, what involvement, because I know you, you are, are listed as a theater major, film, theater. My degree is technically in music, theater, and film, and my concentration is in musical theater, okay. um, which I actually, that was a huge draw for me for St. Joe's. I know a mm -hmm. lot of people, when you say you're in theater, are like, what's your backup option? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't necessarily want to leave the theater industry. So my backup option is other things in the theater. Right, exactly. Um, so having a really solid background in everything that I possibly can from like music composition, reading music, uh, performing and acting and singing and dancing. And then also I have a really strong film background. So I've made a couple short films myself. Um, I've acted in a lot of them. The Oscar goes to um, I've done lighting, like I, anything I possibly can, just being like very well rounded out. And that's pretty rare for someone in the theater industry because everything is so concentrated. That being said, I think somewhere in sophomore year, I was kind of like, I need, I need to do something else. You know, I was getting a little concerned for myself. Thank God. Okay. Um, but I decided to add a communications minor because it actually went really well with our film department. They work really closely together and I've gotten amazing opportunities through being a part of that department. Um, right now I have an internship with a nonprofit called the Dombrowski Foundation. Wonderful. And it was, it's an honor of one of my friends that actually passed away freshman year on a trip oh. to Costa Rica. His family started a nonprofit and I got an opportunity to work with them through the communications department. So I am actually, I was elected and appointed team leader for that. So that's what I am doing mainly this semester besides all of my other jazz. Um, but academically, that's what I'm probably most excited about right now. Um, it's gonna be an amazing opportunity. We're trying to do uh, like a walkathon, but mm -hmm. we're figuring out how to do it both in person, hopefully, and virtually for the people that can't make it. Um, and then like the fundraising on top of it. So I think that I love St. Joe's because of the similar ideals that they have to Trinity with like all of the philanthropy work and like the faith within this community is really, really strong. Um, and I think having four years of that at Trinity really made me want to continue it. And I've had a lot of between my sorority and different opportunities on campus through St. Joe's, I've had a lot of opportunities to do philanthropy work. And I think that's one of my favorite things that I've come out of St. Joe's with definitely. It sounds wonderful. And it, it just, 
it, it, it warms my heart because I, I'm just so proud of the work that you're doing and how you've been able to make all these connections. What are some of the other opportunities that you had at Trinity Hall that really helped you at St. Joseph's? The, one of the hardest yet best things about being in the inaugural class was that we were all leaders. Mm -hmm. but therefore, we had to learn how to be a leader in a room of other leaders. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the best lessons that Trinity taught me because I then took that to college and ran with it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's very hard to kind of find your way in the sense of like, you wanna be involved in so much and Trinity gave us that option. But once you get to college, you kind of have to pick and choose what you do because everything is so crazy and you have such a like big schedule and a huge course load. Um, so I think like Trinity giving me that opportunity to feel confident in myself in the sense of becoming a leader and the different things that I was involved with was very helpful. I was on the, I was elected onto the executive board for my sorority. Um, and I'm also on the executive board. I run the costume department here at St. Joe's. So both like very big time consuming leadership positions. Um, but I obviously wasn't afraid to do it because right. I've been doing it for so long. I was like, oh, I can run a costume department. I started a theater department. So I think having that confidence, but also learning how to work with the other people that are leaders and let them speak, but also let your ideas get heard are really important. Um, so that was a great life lesson for me. And I feel well, like definitely gave me a leg up once I got here. Well, Lily, you know, that's the first time I've ever heard it articulated in that way and explained um, in such great detail. But that's really, that was an important lesson and to be a leader amongst leaders and that that was something you know, that I think even today our girls consider themselves leaders. As the classes have grown, we still talk to the girls about the importance of being leaders. And especially our larger senior classes, they, they all have to know that the juniors and the seniors are leaders of the school. So what are some words of advice that you would give to our current students? Use the tools that Trinity has provided with you in college. Don't shove down who you are when you get into a new space. Like, to really embrace that is going to make it a lot easier. It's so hard freshman year to like really get out there and show who you are. And even I had a hard time with it, which means pretty much everybody will. Right. <laughs> Miss Morelli helped me write my college application essay. And I was really nervous that it was like too quirky, if that makes sense. I wrote about uh, how I used to eat frozen peas as a kid and okay. how that translated to the optimistic person that I am and how I will not be afraid of any opportunity that is thrown at me because I was never afraid to eat frozen peas. Like I will take any situation and turn it into something good. Miss Morelli thought it was the funniest idea ever. And I was so nervous that they were gonna think it's weird. And the people at St. Joe's in the admissions office know who I am to this day. Because oh my gosh. <laughs> came for my audition for St. Joe's and they, they like ran up to me, not only because I was at Trinity and they had met me a couple times, but because of that essay. And, and do you know that Mrs. Morelli is our current and our new director of college council? Yes, that very so, good, good job for her. And, and in closing, just tell me, what are you gonna do after graduation? Because it sounds like the world is just waiting out there for Lily. So I'm actually right now working on my application for the Walnut Street Theater with my mentor. Her name is Sarah. I love her. I met her through St. Joe's. She essentially does exactly what I want to do in the costuming world. Okay. Um, so I, it's an apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. um, so they treat you like an intern, but it's a great foot in the door. With And with theater, that's like the biggest thing. That's um, right. So a little bit all over the place, but I'm more excited. It's been really hard with COVID being mm -hmm. um, coming out of college with a theater degree because obviously, ideally, I would love to perform. Um, right. But that's not happening and neither is costuming really. Even working for a theater and doing their social media would be a great opportunity because normal people coming out of a, like normal students don't have that same background mm -hmm. in social media and communications. Um, so, you know, having like the theater industry background as well as performing and being backstage has been very helpful. So. Well, it sounds like you really, uh, you know, have, have prepared yourself. You not only had a good foundation here at Trinity Hall, but you've uh, added to that at St. Joe's. And I'm so glad to, to hear of, of this wealth of experience that you have. What I will say, I'll put a little, you know, go out and seize every opportunity as I know you can. Um, don't give up, the theater will come back. I'm also feeling so proud, so proud of all that uh, our class of 2017 has accomplished. So 
keep up the good work, stay in touch, and I'll see you in the spring. Thank you so much for having me. Say hello to all your family. and Say hi to everyone at Trinity for me. And uh, I will. Thank you to Mrs. Phillips, Miss Whalen, all the theater people. Um, but everybody, really. Everyone. Yep. Individual thank yous to everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's Mary on the run. It's Mary.